The Balance View training offers an introduction to open intelligence and then to find out that open intelligence is the basic identity of each human being. It is our natural resource. It's something that is available to each of us. And we just heard that it is available for every human being. And tapping into that resource is complete empowerment. And then to find out what that means, you find out in your practical own direct experience. And that's how I did it. I just came to these meetings not, not quite knowing what, what I'll find here and then testing it out like a scientist in your own experience. And what makes it easy is such a center here where we see other people and it feels like they have something that is, you know, that's, that you, that, that, that you want to. Happy people while dishwashing and just being in the garden. I'm just picking one, one area now. And people relating to each other in a totally respectful way, in an open-hearted way, and working together in teams where there's no agenda, where there's, where there's the focus of how to be of benefit to all. And so there you can see the results of, of the Four Mainstays lifestyle, and that's what is being introduced here. The introduction to open intelligence, and you heard that, was stop thinking and to see what remains. And to test that out is very powerful because then you see you can receive the introduction to open intelligence, something about you that is always there, present, stable, alertness, a power to know, and to identify that, to recognize that. And by coming here to these meetings, it becomes obvious in your experience, just by hearing those talks, just by hearing people share about opening intelligence. That's what we're doing here. We share our experience of open intelligence. And then to get to know the four mainstays, which is that support structure that empowers only that, opening intelligence, and how to make that obvious in your life. So I just went for that completely. I just thought, okay, I'll test all the four mainstays and see what happens. And it was then so convincing to see myself, see the results in myself, and then to see it in, in other people as well, like here at the center, seeing, wow, there are complete stability. I didn't think that complete mental and emotional stability is possible, like not being affected by all these data, and data is all these emotions, thoughts, and experiences, things we really don't like, like being sick, bored, or depressed, or sad. And yeah, like you heard, I mean, then you have a good opportunity in India to t test out the four mainstays when you feel sick, or probably we have many opportunities around the day to see, okay, I can test opening intelligence and try it right there. To see that opening intelligence and all data are inseparable, like the color blue in the sky. They're inseparable. And to hear that kind of metaphor and to hear that instinctive recognition that all your thoughts and emotions are inseparable from opening intelligence, you know what happens then? then you stop trying to change something, anything about yourself. And you can stop to change anything about yourself and see you, what happens when you let everything be as it is. So that's what I did then too. By the short moments of open intelligence to see, okay, I can just let all my data, all your thoughts that you're having at the moment, letting them be as it is, all the emotions, sensations, maybe some of you feel sick, something rumbling in the stomach, <laughs> <laughs> or sore throat. I think that virus is going around too. Yeah. And, um, <laughs> and then letting it all be as it is, like a line drawn in water. And open intelligence is the fundamental, powerful basis, inseparable from all these data. 
And so that is the instinctive recognition. And that's short moments. And that's by just coming here, you recognize, wow, that is such a relief. That relief, you recognize that relief, even if it's a split second of not needing to change anything about yourself. Even if you feel bored or tired. We can list all the data descriptions that feel rather unpleasant and recognize the absolute truth value of all data being open intelligence and inseparable from open intelligence. And you can't do anything to avoid that. So it's already present and you can't do anything to make it happen. And the form, well, to make open intelligence happen, it's already there. But what you can do is expose yourself to the four mainstays. And, and that, that is what, why these open meetings are here, why we have these trainings, is to offer the four mainstays in a way that everyone can participate who is open to it and who wants to test it out in your own experience and see how powerful you are. You heard in Candace's talk, and I mean, I love to hear that, like how exalted, how powerful every human being is. Every human being, no one left out, and that we claim our power. Instead of disempowering ourselves with all the data descriptions, you see how small it gets when you take your descriptions and you, it's like a little, little dot. So allow all these descriptions to be as it is, inseparable from open intelligence, and then there is such an openness. I thought, wow, that is not anymore disempowering ourselves into a little dot descriptions of I'm not good enough, I can't do it, I this and that. All these descriptions, I'm sick, I'm bored, and it's a very limiting place to be. Open intelligence is like being on top of the mountain. Mm. A vast openness, seeing everything, seeing all the paths, seeing all valleys, the balanced view. And even if we're so used to dramas, <laughs> I like that question really, because like once I thought, oh wow, and I don't and I don't focus anymore on my problems, what do I speak? You know, with my husband, we analyzed all the data, and all the emotions and thoughts and this and that, and then suddenly, no more drama. No more to blame, not, not to blame, not to be a victim. It's the end of all victim, end of all blame. You empower yourself and exalt yourself. That's the first step, like taking responsibility for all your data. Who, who's there to blame? There's open intelligence and data, and that's your human experience. You can't get out of data, and you can't get into open intelligence because it's already present. So see, like, but then I take a short moment and recognize that. And, and all the drama or the emphasis on data, that's how we can call it here in the training. We just got used to emphasizing data making it really simple. Now we get used to relying on open intelligence without trying to rearrange all the data, but letting it be as it is. You see the magic and wonder that is there as a human being, the power to be of benefit, where we can make a change. We all want to make a change in one way or another, to be of benefit, to be together in such a loving way where we can wash dishes and be happy. We are powerful, we, 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 are for, we are beneficial, our minds are completely beneficial. And all our actions and all our speech, everything is for the benefit of all. Everything is completely for the benefit of all and we step up for that because we had enough of disempowering ourselves and using our energy just to disempower ourselves and other people. So there's an opportunity to, to take responsibility for data and to choose complete empowerment just right here. Like we don't have to do it tomorrow, we can do it right here and use all the four mainstays. You test it out and see, wow, it's only empowerment wherever you turn. 
And so that's the opportunity in the, in the balanced view training. And everybody who's open to it will see the results in your experience. Open to test it out. <laughs>